Hello everyone, Tim and Peggy here, and we want to welcome you to the Adventure Chapter channel. Today we want to cover Day 9 of our Tour de Mont Blanc. Today's trek of 8.74 miles took us from the town of La Foulie to the town of Champagne. Our hike today was a little bit reversed from some of the hikes that we had been doing as we started out with a downhill valley walk and then wound our way through some of the lovely Swiss villages and ended our day by climbing back into the mountains to the town of Champagne and the lake that bears its name. Come along with us and enjoy the adventure. After we left Hotel Edelweiss on the morning of day nine, we looked back at Mount Dolent, where the Swiss, Italian, and French borders converge. We then began today's Swiss Valley Walk. After we crossed the stream, Drans de Ferret, our trek consisted of walking along rocky washes such as this one, which we are sure was flowing with snow runoff in spring and early summer. As the valley widened, we began to pick up views such as this waterfall. The beauty of the valley just seemed to open up to us as we descended. As we continued to descend, we came into a more settled part of the valley. I won't insult any of the residents of the hamlets by trying to pronounce any of the town names, but we sure were impressed by the architecture of these villages as the trail wound through them. The weathered wood structures and the houses built around a rather large boulder were particularly interesting. After lunch in Isser, we began the ascent to Champagne. This uphill portion of today's journey was highlighted by wooden carvings spread out along the trail. We were also treated to a rock climbing exhibition by a young lady who obviously has more guts than I have.
early afternoon, the trail pulled into the road just below Champe Lock. This area is known for being the home of the St. Bernard Dog, for this is the first place they were used for mountain rescue over 200 years ago. After a short road walk, we were soon at our home for the evening, the elegant Hotel Splendette. This was one of the nicest places we stayed. There was an impressive glass elevator and undoubtedly one of the finest room views that we had on the entire trek. We rested for a bit and then took a stroll down to the lake where the major part of the town is. We ended day nine by walking around the lake and enjoying the views of this Swiss village on a cloudy but pleasant Saturday afternoon.